Let's take you live to Canberra now. The Greens leader, Adam Bant, is talking about nuclear and renewables, responding to this report in the Australian newspaper today. Let's listen in, see what he's being asked by the press gallery in Canberra. Wind farms offshore, is it just, just a necessary evil? Well, they're all... Like, like each of those projects has to be assessed on its merits, and I would say... Um, that for uh, planners to succeed, they're going to have to take the will of people into account. But at the end of the day, the reason that this is happening uh, is to ensure we do our best at tackling the climate crisis. We're lucky in a big country like Australia. We are blessed with lots of places that we can put solar panels and wind farms. We need greater connectivity. Um, we need more solar and wind plants. They can be put in the right place so that they're not uh, a, a damage to the local environment. We are blessed as a big country with lots of sun and lots of wind. Why couldn't the Greens vote with the Coalition to delay the nature repair market bill uh, until next year when you will have seen the EPBC Act changes by then? Well, that's what we're pressuring the government to do and we want the government to come back with better legislation um, to tackle the, uh, the environment crisis and the extinction crisis that we're facing. Um, so our primary goal is to push the government to bring forward legislation and bring, bring it forward soon that's good legislation. So our position to the government is enough of the delays. We don't want more delays. We want the government to bring legislation on that will actually tackle the environment crisis. I mean, they, they said that that's what they were going to do. Um, they told the people that there was going to be legislation introduced by the end of this year. And it, they're on the go slow. Uh, so what we want is not delay, as uh, it was a motion in the Senate, but we want them to hurry up. On police campaigning, you say you want to do all you can for the campaign. Are Greens members around the nation actually all in on the voice campaign? Yes, uh, certainly in the federal party room, you've seen us um, all commit to campaigning for yes, and that's what we've been doing. I've been spending a lot of time in various parts of the country. So has our Senator Dorinda Cox. I think it's very clear that the Greens are campaigning for yes, and that's what our MPs are doing. And um, people were out, I know, at the at the walks over the weekend as well. It's something that we're committed to. But why are 